students today we will discuss feminist geography space place and identity now this slide describes the scope of feminist geography women comprise 50% of the world's population to do two thirds of the world's work hours receive 10% of the world's income and own less than 1% of world property according to the international labor organization geographers have duties to find the ways for stopping such kind of discrimination and now what is the place of feminist geography in the geographical domain geography as a whole can be divided into two major parts physical geography and human geography and feminist geography is a branch of human geography now what is the place of feminist geography in geographical chronology journey of geography can be divided into three definite time the ancient period the medieval period and the modern and the post modern period feminist geography has developed in the modern period and geography has undergone three paradigms during its evolution the pre positivist paradigm the positivist paradigm and post positivist paradigm feminist geography is the part of post positivist paradigm geography in its journey has experienced two revolution quantitative revolution during positivist period and critical revolution during post positivist period feminist geography is the part of critical revolution and now here we will discuss the ideological space of the feminist geography what is its principal focus it analyzes geographic differences in gender relation and gender equality gender roles are the social definition of women and men they vary among different societies and cultures classes ages and during different periods in history gender specific roles and responsibilities are often conditioned by household structure access to resources specific impacts of the global economy and other locally relevant factors such as ecological conditions and gender relations are the ways in which a uh, culture or society defines rights responsibilities and the identities of men and women in relation to one another and there are some age specific differences also and it is a case study of rural ethiopia mostly children collect and eat the fruit from wild plants and uh, the wild food and the families collect collected by children and women and prepared by the latter in all the areas surveyed and able bodied male members of the community usually migrate to find work during the food shortage and the women and children are left behind to manage as best they can here are also some details and now what is the main theme of feminist geography it is actually a collection of social theories political movements and moral philosophies motivated by feminism and what is its main reflection it is the geographical nature of female experience uh now feminist geography has uh, some inclination in its ideological nature the postmodern approach which is not concerned with the development of conceptual theory 
but rather focuses uh, on the real expectation of individual groups. And uh, it can be said that it is both uh, local and global in nature. So it has a global approach. And what is its uh, theme question? Its theme question is, why do women remain in subordinate position in society and profession? Now, here is the aim of uh, feminist geography. It aims at exploring the ways in which uh, the current practices might be changed in order to release women from the state of subordination with respect to unequal power, opportunities, and uh, social status. And the objective of the feminist geography is to find out the root cause behind this diversity and what is the identity of feminist geography feminism is a social and collective identity and uh, it is also uh, political and personal ideologies people who identify as feminists share togetherness and community that accompanies a social movement which encompasses those who see gender as a major category of analysis, who critique female disadvantage and who work to improve women's situation. And uh, here is the relationship between the identity and space. Space in human civilization can be identified as public space and private space. In people's perception, public space is related to masculinity, and the private space is related to femininity. In the same way, workplace is regarded as masculine and domestic place is uh, regarded as feminine. And uh, settlements are also not at all gender neutral. Women's presence is accepted in public place only if they have some purpose. They do not feel comfortable loitering on streets or street corners and public place have inadequate ladies washroom baby feeding room etc women are more dependent on public transport women's complex responsibility uh, for household needs and caretaking purposes they need multiple stoppage of public transport peripheral public transit route on which many women depend have less priority for the city planner Generally, the transport routes follow radial commuter corridor going straight to the city center, which uh, uh, is uh, not useful uh, according to females need. Mm, here are uh, some examples of uh, crime or behavior towards uh, female in big cities. Uh, there is a theory that is uh, mind-body dualism and in geography also uh, such type of theories uh, are nowadays explained. Male geographers tended to marginalize women uh, as only a topic uh, for their study. Until mid-late 90s, gender issues like embodiment, uh, visible form of an idea or feeling, the emotion or sexuality were considered inappropriate to study in geography. Women occupy space in an inhibited, unable to act in a relaxed or natural way because of self-consciousness or mental restraint away. And uh, the trend after Second World War is the town planners and administrators used pro-naturalist approach in housing design. Women are tempted to live in home and have more children and of course, not to work outside. Household gadgets are introduced and media and adv advertisements worked aggressively. And uh, there are some phases uh, in gender, gender geography. In the first phase is 1970s. 
The gender bias in the content, method, and purpose of the geographical research means that only half of the uh, human is included in geography. Geographical research was conducted by white, able-bodied male people, the Tevi, so Pink, the Thornberry. Influenced by liberal feminist movement, the idea of equality between men and women in both public and private place, World of Geography accepted women in geographical researches. Uh, here are two uh, women geographer, renowned women geographer of uh, two ages. One is Ellen Churchill Semple. He lived between 1863 and 1932. And uh, then here is uh, Doreen Barbara Messi, who lived in the time 1944 to 2016. Uh, there are some factors of discrimination towards a female. In case of providing education and access to sufficient food, always uh, parents uh, select the boy, boy child, as per a 2011 census data in India. Uh, the effective uh, literates uh, at the age of seven and above were 82.14% for men and 65.46% for women. And son will continue the family names and perform funeral operations. Family will not enjoy the service and income of the girl in future. Now, these type of beliefs are prevalent in Indian families. And wheat and rice politics create different scenario in North and West India on one hand and East and South India on the other. It leads to overall devaluation of women, low gender development index. And this devaluation leads to more illiteracy, more morbidity and mortality, less life expectancy, lack of skill to generate income and unemployment or marginal employment and lack of respect in family and society, which leads to lack of security and increased violence, both in public and private space, lack of decision-making power and agency, and lack of awareness about human rights and laws, overall personal, mental, social, and economic dependency. And dependency leads to social denial for mobility from home, Lesser mobility leads to lesser experience about outer world, lack of knowledge about modern humanistic perspective, being caged in religion, taboo, old beliefs and customs. And the institutional or uh, institution of marriage continues. And the another most important thing is menstruation. It is the worldwide symbol of weakness of womanhood. Mm, and it, it can be a general query that is menstruation a sin? In Hindu ritual, women are forbidden from any duties related to worship during menstruation. And inside the institution of marriage, being a widow or uh, being a victim of dowry or domestic violence and murder and lack of decision making, uh, are the problems. Uh, here are uh, some points about radical feminism. Radical feminism says that root cause of female oppression is patriarchy. Subordination of women by men is the primary inequality in human society. And division of labor between men and women had given birth to the division of labor between class and race. And uh, militant uh, feminism uh, believes that men are the enemy. And here are another school of thought that is uh, socialist feminism. 
it finds the causes of women oppression in the wider framework of social relations existing in the society it inclines to marxism it favors unity between men and women in the struggle between classes it thinks that the uh, way to achieve equality is through women empowerment two broad strategies of empowerment are power with and power within power with means collective action through organization and power within means skill and expertise through education Uh, in the first wave of uh, feminism according to richard peet there are some happenings in the human civilization throughout the world in the united states the 1848 seneca fall convention and its declaration of rights called for equality in marriage women's property rights and inherit property right to earn equal wages right to have child custody right to make contracts right to testify in courts and right to vote and uh, there are also british working class women movement especially from textile unions the militant uh, tactics the civil disobedience mass demonstration and forced prison feeding by the women women's movements in latin america asia and the middle east developed after 1920 in connection with larger working class movements strategies differed according to their culture and historical moment uh, in the second wave there are active female participation in anti vietnam war movement civil rights movement of 1960s raising issues previously considered as personal and private in the political and public realms and optimism and debate publication of feminist literature for example simone de beauvoir the second sex in 1949 betty friedan's the feminine mystic in 1963 Shulamit Firestone's The Dialectic of Sex in 1970 and Kate Millett's Sexual Politics in 1970 Gail Rubin's The Traffic in Women Notes on the Political Economy of Sex in 1975 and there are also foundation of some feminist organizations uh, the third wave can be declared as post feminism there are academic critic of knowledge introduction of women studies in universities in late 80s discourses concerning abortion crime working environment class and racial differences immigration coalesced around women's questions importance of common women's identity as basis for political strategy and declaration of women's decade in united states different international women's conferences and the third world women movement against economic environmental legal military cultural and physical threats and also in the third wave there were third world women movement the chipko movement in himalayas the green belt movement in kenya the self employed women's association in india mothers of the disappeared movement of latin america increasing feminist activities around human rights justice and environmental degradation and also women's liberation movement there is another wing the women's liberation movement it uh, needs uh, uh, further elaboration here are some sub school of thought that is liberal feminism marxist or socialist feminism radical feminism eco feminism post feminism and this slide describes the research method in feminist geography women were excluded from the geographical research in part because of methodological factors there were unavailability of data for example of unpaid or household work 
and male researchers preferred men as respondents, thus women's perception were ignored. Hence, the questions became, should there be any feminist research methodology? The topic should be feminist, objective of the research will be feminist, women interviewing women is needed, qualitative methodology with in-depth interview, small-scale research with case study and personal experience study, the periodical short but intense fieldwork is necessary to develop trust between the researcher and the respondent. In some cases, quantitative and qualitative dualism may be also practiced. The space plays identity and gender, and what are the relationships among them? The masculinism claims universal spatial conquest. It stands upon the territorial logic. Feminism imagines somewhere beyond this territorial logic. This results into a paradoxical space. The paradoxical space means simultaneous insideness and outsideness, the center and margin at once. The outsider within stance of feminism can critique the authority of masculinism. And after Doreen Massey, uh, the explanation is uh, something different. The need for counterpositioned identities is culturally masculine and designed for domination. Personal identities are thought to be multiple, shifting, unbounded. So are the places. Women lead more local lives than men. Thus, feminist movement is often said to be local struggle compared to the universal class struggle. Thus, in feminist geography, place is more important than the universal space in research of identity. This is the cause behind close bonding between women and nature. And women's movements uh, struggle for equality, rights and opportunity in liberal sphere, justice, power and emancipation in radical sphere, difference, voice and identity in postmodern sphere, journey from this struggle in everyday life to the development of theories and abstract politics is the main focus of feminism through self-criticism feminist thought has changed directions several times from the universality of womanhood to differences between women from women close to nature to femininity as social construction from modern to postmodern And here uh, is uh, something about feminist geography. I think the scholars or students of geography uh, have uh, something, have understood something about feminist geography. And thank you very much.